Okay, good afternoon, everybody. How are you this Friday? Good afternoon, Miss. Good Hello, afternoon. teacher. Good afternoon. <laughs> okay, glad to see you. Well, today it's the class number 12. Okay, so let me share with you the screen, the presentation. Today's topic is how often do you? So we're going to practice a frequency. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about a, how often we do activities. And today's date is Friday, September 23rd, 2022, and it's our class number 12. Lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food or other things. And we have these activities, recalling previous class, frequency adverbs, how often do you, and finally wrap up. So I'm going to start by taking the attendance so that I, I check everybody's here in the class today so let's see we are going to start with let me see daniel isaac quintanilla guerra daniel isaac quintanilla okay daniela magali asensio present thank you demi quechito tiene Thank you, Daniela. Okay, Delvi Arely Oliva. Present, Miss. Thank you, Delvi. Okay, we continue with uh, Delvi Arely. Okay, Esmeralda Elizabeth. Esmeralda is not in the class, okay? Gabriela Arriaza. She's not in the class either, okay? Jacqueline Vanessa. Jocelyn Gabriela Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Jonathan Salinas. Present. Jonathan. Jose Vidal Vázquez. Karen Carpio. Present. Thank you, Karen. Margarita Panameño. Present. Thank you, Margarita. Mayra Elisa. I'm sorry. Catherine Yasmin Guatemala. Catherine siempre se me esconde. Dios mío, present teacher. Yo esperando. Mayra Areli Méndez. Present teacher. Mayra. Okay, Nina and Elisa de Leon. She's not in the class today. Victoria Lea. Present. Thank you, Vicky. Jancy Mella. Present. And finally, Jeremy Lopez. Present. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, everyone for your punctuality and attendance to the English class. Very nice, so uh, let's review yesterday's topic. Do you remember the topic? What was the topic? The topic was frequency adverse, okay? Frequency adverse. So we are going to first we are going to remember the percentage of frequency of each adverb. Okay, so never, never is zero, 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 zero percent, zero. Okay, often five. Okay, 
we have 50, 100, 90, 70, 20, and 5%. 5 percent. 70. Ah, uh, 70. Okay, always. 100. 100 percent. Hardly ever. 10 percent. 5 percent. 5. 5 percent. Sometimes. 50. 50. Okay, this is not something. Okay, sometimes. Don't forget sometimes. the word. Usually. 90 percent. 90. 90. Seldom 20. 20%. 20%. Let's check if our answers are correct. And they are correct. Okay, good job. Now let's do the other exercise. This is the wheel. We are going to spin the wheel. Okay, say any example with the frequency albers. So we need some volunteers. Who would like to be first? Volunteers, volunteers. Five, four, three, two, one. Jancy, okay, Jancy. Hey, Jancy. Say an example with, <laughs> okay, you win a chocolate, <laughs> a virtual chocolate because I don't, I cannot give you one, okay? <laughs> well, any, anyways, we're gonna do it again, Jancy. Okay, Jancy, say an example with, <laughs> Jazzy, you're very lucky. Wow, you're so lucky. Now you win a juice. Imagine juice and chocolate. No, that cannot be possible. <laughs> okay, Jancy. Ah, ah, I thought you were going to win the jogger. Okay, an example with hardly ever, Jancy. I am. Um, I no sé. <laughs> Eso es casi nunca, verdad? Mm, I am. Um, it. Fish. No. Sería. I hardly ever eat fish. Okay, great. <laughs> yes, it's perfect. I hardly ever eat fish. Okay. Thank you, Yansali. Yansi, now you have to choose the next participant. Please choose the next participant. Yansi. Oh, okay, Victoria is a volunteer. Thank you, Victoria. Never. Okay. Never. Okay. Never. I never drink coffee for dinner. Okay. You never drink coffee at dinner. Excellent. It was correct. Perfect. <laughs> Congrats. Okay. Who is next, Victoria? I'm sorry. Who is the next participant? Can I have seen? Oh, oh, uh, Jocelyn Gabriela. Okay, Jocelyn, you're next. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I always eat meat, drink meat. Good job, Jocelyn. I had a problem with my dogs in this moment. Sorry. Who is next, Jocelyn? 
Karen. Ok, Karen. Sorry, I, I didn't eliminate it. One more time. We have... Okay, Karen, congratulations. You win a jogger. <laughs> no, but to win jogger, you have to give, tell us an example, okay? We're going to spin the wheel again. We have the word sometimes sometimes okay just a uh, Karen I sometimes video games I sometimes video games ah but what do you do with the video game I sometimes I sometimes play video games ah, okay that's great I sometimes play video games very nice good job and we still have three, three more participations. Who is next, Karen? The next participant, Karen, you choose. Jonathan Vladimir. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas. See? Almost never, usually, or often. Almost never. Almost ever is casi nunca, verdad? All right. Sí. I almost ever eat, eat no sé, um, coco, ¿cómo se dice coco? Coconut. Co coconut. Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> eat coconut. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. And we have two more. Okay, you choose the next one, Jonathan. Daniel, Daniel Isaac. Daniel, okay, Daniel is here now. Okay, Daniel. Hello, everybody, hello. Hello. Give us an example with usually. I usually play soccer the weekend. You usually play soccer on weekends. Wow, that's nice. And the last one is often. Okay, who is going to be? The next participant, Daniel. Eh, eh, no sé quiénes han participado ahorita, coach. Como me voy conectando. No oh, sé. say the name. Just mention someone. Eh, eh, no remember. Karen? She participated. She already participated, but we have Mayra, Kathy. Mayra. Okay, Mayra. <laughs> often, Mayra, often. I often take a shower at night. Really? Oh, but it's cold. <laughs> okay, good for you, Mayra. Thank you so much, everybody, for your participation. Okay? It was fun. Now, after doing this, we need to continue. Do you remember the topic? Then let me see the people who can join. We have Isoninian and Daniel, right? Here. Was everyone is not here? Is Madame Elizabeth? No. Gabriela Vigail? No. And Jackie, okay. Okay, so let's see. Let's continue. 
topic is frequency adverse and how often it is true. Okay, this is just a review for frequency adverse and it's very important information. Yesterday, we learned that the structure is the following. We have the subject, the adverb frequency, the verb, the copula. You were saying, for example, I never eat coconut. I often take a shower in the evening. I usually go to play soccer on weekends, okay? But we have a different structure when the main verb is the verb to be. Do you remember the three forms of the verb to be? Um, exactly. Um, is, um, is, um, is, um, is, um, is, exactly. Okay, those are the three forms of the verb to be. Okay, the, the, the order, the order or the structure changes a little because we first place the verb and after the verb, we have the adverb frequency. We see the example, she is, right? She is always early for work. Ella siempre está temprano para en el trabajo. I am usually very busy every day. Yo siempre estoy muy ocupada todos los días. I'm usually very busy every day. So as you can see, we have the subject, the verb to be, the other of frequency, and the complement. Okay? So we have the verb right after the subject before the adverb of frequency. So that is the difference between adverse of frequency with other verbs and adverse of frequency with the verb to be, okay? Now, I would like you to make some examples using the verb to be and the adverse of frequency, okay? We can write in the chat, okay? Some examples using the verb to be. Like, for example, let's say Mayra is always happy. Okay, that's an example. Mayra is always happy. I am usually sleepy after lunch. Okay. Okay, yo usualmente tengo sueño o estoy sangrienta después del almuerzo. I am usually sleepy after lunch. Okay, give me examples. My cat often, no, my, ah, yeah. My cat often, what, my, oh, my, oh, oh, sorry, my cat is, is often, I don't know, my cat is often, um, play, okay, or my cat is often playful. Mi gato siempre está, es a menudo juguetón. Voy a menudo juguetón. Let's see. Rafael is sometimes sad. Okay, she has normally drink coffee after. Okay, Victoria. We are going to use only the verb to be. Okay, only the verb to be. Am, um, is, and are. Okay, remember that we use the verb to be with adjectives, feelings, I'm sorry, feelings, emotions, States. No los confundamos ni los mezclemos con los otros verbos. Por ejemplo, yo sería escribió he's often go to the park. Ahí está incorrecto. Solo sería he often goes to the park. Pero vamos a usar el verbo to be y adverso frequency con otras cosas. Por ejemplo, adjetivos, emotions, feelings. 
No, tampoco, Victoria. Ese es el verbo principal ahí, es drink. No es el verbo to be. Tiene que ser el verbo to be. ¿Para qué utilizamos el verbo to be? ¿Recuerdan? Para hablar de cómo me siento, cómo estoy, dónde estoy. Hablen de cómo normalmente se sienten. Van a hacer esto. Miren, I am always. I am never. I am occasionally. She sometimes. He is sometimes. They are never. You have an example. My dog is always inactive. Okay. <laughs> Excellent example, Nelly. Okay, Victoria, that is correct. I am normally happy. Very nice. Yes. Congratulations. That's correct. She is sometimes hungry during the class. Okay. Esos son adjetivos. Ella so, algunas veces está hambrienta o tiene hambre durante la clase. Okay. We can some adjectives. Ok, Jonathan, en ese caso sería el presente progresivo. Ella siempre está ayudando. She's always helping people. Help in people. Pero tratemos de usar los adjetivos. This horse is always very dangerous. Ahí Catherine se le olvidó poner el adverb frequency. Vaya, ¿con qué adjetivos? Voy a poner algunos adjetivos. Okay, hungry, thirsty, sleepy, sick, sad, tired, um, perfect. Mm -hmm. Early, late. Another example, Jancy is always on time for the class, okay? Daniel is sometimes late for class. Okay, my dog is sometimes sick, okay? Jonathan, my dog is sometimes sick. Another more adjectives, busy, lazy, stressful or stressed out, relaxing or relaxed or relaxing. Music is always relaxing for me. Okay. Okay, I am sometimes Ok, para decir yo estoy estresada, I am stressed out. She is usually busy every day, ok. I am sometimes stressed out. Les decía ayer que si usamos el adverbio de frecuencia, no usamos adverbio eh, expresión 
de frecuencia o usamos el adverbio o usamos la expresión. My daughter is sometimes hungry. Ok, hungry. Hungry es hambriento. But angry is enojado. Any more examples? Another can be rainy, cold, hot, warm, foggy. Sorry, it's foggy. Cloudy. <laughs> okay, Mayra. Your dad is always angry. They are sometimes tired after work. That's correct, Daniel. Ok, Karen says, I am hardly ever stressed. Tú no eres estresante o quieres decir quizás que no te estresas, casi nunca estás estresada. Entonces sería, I am hardly ever stressed out. Ok, out, okay. I made a mistake. Ok, so that is the difference, that is the difference. Thank you for your participation. Now we are going to make questions using how often. How often do you? Please make six questions. You are going to write six questions using how often do you eat pupusas? Or how, these are my examples. How often do you see your friends? My answer, I rarely see my friends. How often does your family go out? We never go out. How often do you drink water? I drink water every three hours. How often do you exercise? I do exercise or I exercise three times a month. Okay, how often do you cook? I always cook. How often does the teacher dance in class? She never dances in class, right? So I want you to write six questions. And as you can see in these examples, in the answers I have used, I have used expressions of frequency and adverbs of frequency. Rarely, never, always, and never are adverbs of frequency. But I also have some expressions like, I drink water every three hours, I do exercise three times a month or a week, okay? So that is, that is the example and I want you to please work on creating the questions, okay? So please let's make the questions, how often do you? Later on, you are going to ask, only write the questions because later in groups, you are going to, you are going to ask these questions to your partners and you are going to write down the answer your partner gives you. So right now, only write the questions, make the, your own questions, hagan sus propias preguntas. Esas preguntas se las van a hacer a sus compañeros y van a anotar la respuesta que sus compañeros les den. ¿Ok? Yes. Do you have any questions or so far so good?
teacher, el, el compañero o compañera va a preguntar y uno le tiene que contestar. Exacto. Yes. Ah, ok. Usted ahorita tiene que hacer las preguntas. ¿Perdón? Usted también tiene que escribir preguntas para su compañero. Agarrando ejemplos de los que están aquí en la... Exacto, esos son ejemplos. Ah, ok. Gracias, teacher. Tienen que ser específicamente seis, teacher, o las que uno quiera. Bueno, puede escribir más, pero mínimo seis. Eh, coach. Sorry. Me da permiso porque dije que no puedo escribir, voy manejando todavía. Vuelvo a la carrera. Ok. Pero sí, lo que son las preguntas, sí creo poderlas contestar manejando y hacer preguntas. Muchas gracias. Ok. Ok. Thank you, coach. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes. Eh, no iba a abrir las alas. Ahorita. Me estaba dando tiempo. Ah. No, espere, espere, espere. Estamos haciéndola. <risa> ya, ya veo que ya, ya, ya. En la que las creo y los mando a las alitas Carmenina y Jonathan. No. Vaya, ahorita si se fijan, these questions. No estamos usando el verbo to be, solo los otros verbos, ¿ok? Porque estamos usando do and does. ¿Ok? No nos vayamos a confundir. ¿Ok? Va. Les van a quedar de tres y algunos de dos, porque a veces hay, hay algunos problemitas, entonces quedan de tres a dos, ¿ok? Participantes. el how, how often para ver con qué frecuencia hacemos algunas cosas entonces no sé si quieren preguntar primero o ser preguntado sí, voy a hacer una pregunta uh, 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 
Echando veneno estaba allá. Do you drive your car? I always drive my car. Ah, ok. A ver, este, Daniela, está ahí. Sí, hola. Ajá, es que no escuchaba hacer... mucho lo que dijo él. Ah, vaya. No, que me preguntaba que con qué frecuencia manejo el carro. Yo creo que eso. Ah. Creo que contesté bien. Ajá, ahora le voy a preguntar a usted. How often do you watch? Sí, va. How, para Daniela. How. Si, si gusta, dígame usted las que ten. Ok. How often do you watch movies? Señora, venga para acá, ¿dónde va? Ahorita. Uh, I watch movies. Ajá. Uh -huh. Every day. Okay. How often do you drink beer or wine? Drink. Uh, uh, este, I never drink. Okay. okay. <laughs> It's a good girl, dijo la Miss ayer. No. no, no, no. <laughs> Lo que pasa es que, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo se dice? Um, I never drink beer or white for my pregnant. pregnant. ¿En serio? <laughs> yes. ¿Are you pregnant? Sophie. ¿Are you pregnant? Yes. Ajá, la misma yes. pregunta. <laughs> never coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Ay, no, porque antes uh, uh, estás, habías, hacíamos como una colección de vinos con mi esposo. Ay, qué rico. Entonces teníamos ahí unos tres, cuatro vinos y... y el... Usted ya las terminó. ¿Qué? Ya las terminó usted, así. Me pregunta usted, le pregunto yo. Vaya. Uh -huh. How often do you eat? Me pregunta que si como. Uh -huh. I, I, always, I always eat. How often do you go to park? I never go to park, the park. How often do you go to dancey? To? To dancey? I never dance. In. Okay, how often do you dance? Or how uh -huh. often do you go dancing? Go dancing. Go dancing. Okay. How often do you go dancing? I never go dancing. Hardly ever go to the movies, friends. Hardly ever go to the movies with your friends. Yes. Okay, number two. How often do you drink coffee? Uh, I never drink coffee. Okay. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> never, never, never. Never, never. Okay. With a donut. Jocelyn. Dos por uno. <risa> Casi lloro cuando dijo que nunca, nunca. Es por la edad, ¿verdad, teacher? 
It's true. I before <laughs> when I was very young, I didn't drink coffee. But then okay. when I started to work, uh huh. Yes, I was like coffee was my friend. <laughs> sí. Teacher, ¿y para decir que lo hago todo el tiempo? All the time? All the, I drink coffee all the time. All the time. I always drink coffee. I always drink coffee. Okay, Jocelyn, I never drink coffee. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? It's okay. Yes. <laughs> Ahorita regresamos. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi. Ya tenemos las preguntas, ya las hicimos. Excellent. Okay. So be ready because we're going to share your, uh, your classmates' answers with the class. Okay. Okay. Hola. Hola. It's raining. Hola, hola. It's raining hard. Okay, uh, but can you hear me well? Yes, okay. Um, okay, can you tell me please uh, what you found about your classmates, your classmates' answers? For example, for example, in the question, how often does the teacher dance? You can you can answer you, or you can tell us the teacher never dances in classes, right? The teacher never dances because we are not in person, we are online classes. So now can you tell me please about your classmates' answers? Only one thing. But maybe it's interesting. Any volunteer? Jonathan? The teacher always teach in the class. Okay, the teacher always teaches. Teaches. Te teaches, okay, teaches. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Other example about your classmates, de sus compañeros, que les respondieron. Okay. Interesting facts. Did you take notes on the answers? Anotaron las respuestas, ¿verdad? Yes, okay, Victoria. Okay. How often do you go to the movies with your friends? Fue mi pregunta hacia Jocelyn. She answered, uh, I hardly ever go to the movies with my friends. Okay. Entonces, ¿cómo lo diría? ¿Cómo diría Jocelyn casi nunca va? Jocelyn. Jocelyn hardly ever go to the movies with your friends. Okay. Yes. Jocelyn hardly ever goes. 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 To the movies with her friends. Okay, Victoria. Thank you for your example, your answer. Okay, somebody else? Okay. 
Nobody else? Nobody else? Your that teacher, means... how often do you cook Chinese food? Se la pregunté a Telmi, creo que es. <laughs> y ella contestó, I never cook Chinese food. Okay, so you can say, Telmi. Telmi. Never cooks. Chinese. Chinese, Chinese food. Excellent. There you go. Okay. Someone? Another participant? Yeah. Hi. Hi. I question. How often do you watch movies? Nimian? Say. No, answer. Yes, uh -huh. uh -huh. Nimian? I watch always movie every day. Okay, you use always or you use every day? Only one. Other I... or expression of frequency. In this case, seria Nimian, 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 answer. <laughs> En ese caso sería así. Solo diga lo que, lo que, lo que eh, encontró de, de niña. Podría ser niña, always, watch. Ah, ya, ten, ya, 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 ya. Niña, always, watch movies. Watch movies. Every day, every day, ya no. Niña, always, okay. watch movies. Okay. Always, watch movies, or... Nimian watches movies every day. Okay, okay Jocelyn, Gabriela. Le pregunté a Victoria, how often do you drink coffee? I always drink coffee. Entonces, Victoria. Always drink coffee. Victoria always drinks coffee, okay. Let's see another example. Very good. Thank you, Yasmin. Catherine? Uh, my housework is um, How often do you watch horror movies? Uh, Karina, I never watch horror movies. And tell me, I always uh, watch horror movies. Okay, entonces sería Delmi always watches horror movies and Karen, right? Karen? No. Karina. Karina, creo. Karen y Delmi. Karen. Yes. <laughs> Karen, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Karen? Yeah. ¿Cómo haría la oración? Karen? Never watch horror movies. Okay. Yeah. Never watches, watches horror watch. movies. Okay. Recuerden la tercera persona singular. Le agregamos la S al verbo en el tiempo presente. Okay. Thank you for your participation, everybody. Now, um, I have other questions for the wrap-up. And in this, you are going to practice the vocabulary and the grammar that we studied this week. For example, 10 foods, mention 10 foods and 10 drinks. Say what you ate, lo que comió, yesterday in the breakfast, lunch and dinner. So you have to use your brain, your memory, okay? Que comí ayer en el desayuno, en el almuerzo y en la cena, okay? Also, what do you never drink or eat? What do you always do when you wake up? What do you always do when you go to bed? Okay, so those are the questions. And again, I'm going to create groups and you have to practice this in groups, okay? But different, a different groups, different groups.
Take care. I will send the, the questions in this moment. Hello, Jocelyn. A mí me regresó de la sala 1. A la sala principal. A la salita, por qué? Para que le ayude. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Creo que ya le va a aparecer, porque esta es una... Sí. Bajo. Okay. En el desayuno, almuerzo y cena. No me acuerdo. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que nunca eh, tomarías o comerías? ¿Y qué es lo que siempre... Cuando te levantas? Always do you want to wake up? ¿Y what do you always... Cuando... ¿Qué haces siempre cuando te acuestas? Ajá. Sí. Uh -huh. ah, um, bueno, no sé si empieza usted porque yo la verdad ando medio perdida, que estoy con mi dolor de cabeza. Vaya, este... Eh, teacher, y ahorita tenemos que mencionar los, las 10 las comidas y 10 bebidas. Sí. Pueden turnarse una cada uno. Se menciona las 10 10 foods and 10 drinks. Jeremy say what she eat. What she ate yesterday. Then you answer the question. One and one. You can go one and one. Vaya. Okay. Porque si no, ver, empiezo yo con <laughs> eh, foods. Eh, Pupusas in the breakfast. Mm -hmm. In my lunch, eat chicken soup. For my dinner, eat mm, rice and beans, cheese, and eggs. Como dijo, no le escuché. Sí, es que mi hija está haciendo mucho ruido, lo siento. In my breakfast, eat uh -huh. pupusas. Sí. In my lunch, eat chicken soup. Uh -huh. For my dinner, eat plantain, uh -huh. rice and beans. No, pero ahí dice que solo me siento. Te echar una pregunta. En cuanto a la primera eh, cuestión, sería que solo vamos a mencionar las puras comidas y las puras bebidas, o tenemos que hacer una, una oración. No, just mention. Solo mencionarlas. Ok. 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 Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Seis. Oh. Quedémonos con esas. Okay. Pero no sé. Sería como chocolate, pero para cocinar. Sí, Ajá. Para nosotros es bebida. Chocolate. <risa> Um, Atol, pero no sé cómo se escribe. Atol Chuco. Atol Chuco, atol, a todos los atoles, atol pelote. Siete tenemos. Seven. Ok, only finish. No, so say what do what what you ate yesterday in the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, in the breakfast, I usually never 
breakfast. Ah, ese es mi caso. Y you? Never, never, never ate. Eat breakfast. Ajá. In in the lunch. At the lunch, chicken salad. Always. Chicken. No, yesterday. Yes. Uh -huh. Chicken. Uh -huh. Chicken salad. And, and cheese. Uh, what do you never drink or eat? I never eat uh, in dinner fish and drink beer. Ne never been beer. Beer. <laughs> beer. Beer. <laughs> I always take a shower. Okay. What do you always do when you go to the bed? Mm, I always brush ten. ¿Cómo se dice en dientes? Tooth. I brush tooth. I always brush tooth. My teeth. Uh, bueno, dientes. Teeth. teeth. Okay, it's almost time to finish the class. I need a volunteer to tell me 10 foods. Uh, 10 foods. Taco. Taco. Sushi? Burger. Hot dog. Beef. Chicken. Pasta. Lasaña. ¿Qué dices si lasaña? Lasaña. Jam. Jam. Jam or ham. Jam or ham. Jam. Jam es jalea. Y jamón es ham. Ah, pues los dos. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> okay, ten drinks. Ten drinks. Coffee. Coffee. Water. Milk. Milk. Juice. Soda. 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 Beer. Water. Beer. 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 Wine. Lemonade. 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 Yogurt. And job. Okay. Very nice. What did you eat yesterday in the breakfast? In the breakfast, Victoria? Uh, I never eat breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> okay, someone who had breakfast yesterday or this morning, what did you eat for breakfast? This morning or yesterday? Yesterday. Uh, uh, Mayra? Okay. Yesterday I eat pupusas. You ate pupusas. How many pupusas did you eat, Mayra? Five. Two. Only two. Okay. Only two. Only two. Okay. What did you eat for lunch yesterday or today? I okay, Vicky. I chicken salad tortilla. Right, chicken salad and tortilla. Oh. Rice, and rice, rice, and drink uh, water. Okay, and you drink water. Okay, what did you have for dinner yesterday?
Who? 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 Got it? Maybe she's not there. Uh, let's see. Nimia? Repeat question, please. What, what did you eat for, for dinner yesterday? Uh, my dinner yesterday is beans, scrambled eggs, cheese, uh, milk. Um, no, no. Only that, okay. Thank you. What do you always do when you wake up? What do you always do when you wake up in the morning? Oh, you wake up. What do you always do? Um, I would do maker is, is in the <laughs> saludar. <laughs> I always greet, 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 uh -huh. in get up, uh, wash his teeth. Okay, you always wash your teeth. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you always do when you go to bed? Before you go to bed, what do you always do? Mm. I um cambio la pijama. Ah, okay. I change I or I put on my pajamas. I put on my pajamas. Me pongo mi pijama. I put on my pajamas. I put on my pijama in prepare in the cojarme. <laughs> Teacher, las últimas dos preguntas es lo que hacemos antes de acostarnos y levantarnos. Sí. Lo que siempre hace cuando se levanta y lo que siempre hace cuando se va a dormir. Ah, ok. I always go to the bathroom before I go to bed. Uh, I listen music. Oh, you listen to music when you go to bed. Yes. It's nice, it's nice. Okay, um, this was the class for today. It was a pleasure to see you on a Friday, but next week we don't have class on Friday because we finish on Thursday, okay? So I see you on Monday. Los veo el lunes, see you Monday. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend, bye-bye. Bye, bye. bye teacher. Take care. Take care, don't forget to Take care. Bye. platform, okay? Trabajen en la plataforma. Bye.